My name is Samir Haq, and I will be helping you to get started with MicroStation Connect Edition. Um, I am the User Success Services Manager for MicroStation at Bentley Systems, and I am based in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. So what are we going to be talking about? Let's get an idea of what we want to accomplish today. First, we're going to take a look at some of the basic user journeys that people go through as you get started with MicroStation. And probably the first one that occurs is the installation of the software itself. Surprisingly, there's still a lot of questions and there's a lot of options inside our installer. So it's helpful to understand what those options provide you. The next thing we'll want to do is take a look at getting started with your CAD standards. You want to be able to use your CAD standards in your drawings. And we manage this through a workspace and a work set. And we'll describe what those are and how those allow you to manage your standards. We'll wrap it up with looking at basic DWG workflows. We'll understand how to open and edit and manage, create, all of those things with DWG files. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the command structures, the interface, and the UX in general that is there to help support the DWG workflow. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started. Installation is obviously an important part of the beginning of MicroStation. Installation is the first thing that you need to get done when you start MicroStation. You have a large number of options, but basically the defaults that are chosen for you in the installer works best for new users. We install a lot of different things in a lot of different places. So sometimes it's a little hard to find something that you would like to look at after installation. I just like to remind you that we do install a lot of examples and user data, things that you can play with and look at and dissect in the C program data folder structure. Now we'll go into that folder structure in a little bit more detail here in a second, but keep in mind that C program data is hidden by default and you'll need to unhide that. Really though, the place to get started at is going to be softwaredownloads.bentley.com. And this is where you can actually get the software. So let's go there and take a look. From softwaredownloads.bentley.com, you'll notice that you have the option of selecting a variety of applications. You can filter these applications across the top or actually search for a product right here. The most popular products are up across the top here. And you'll notice that this is actually just a banner. So you can sort of slide through and take a look at the next set. Um, you'll also find software that's been recently updated or recently released. And then there's our most popular. So we're looking for MicroStation here. And if I select MicroStation, it's going to tell me a little bit about it. So I'm confident that I'm downloading the right thing. Again, there is a set of filters. You might wish to select a previous version of MicroStation, which you can do so from here. And um, we can go ahead and select download. Now, the download process is extremely fast. You'll notice that it's really, it's already done. And you're probably wondering why. Um, that's because the installer is actually a payload installer, which means that it will download a, a payload application, which will then launch and download the remaining components. So let's go take a quick look and see what it did. So there you can see it's a two megabyte file. It's not very large. And this is setup underscore MicroStation64. 
and there's the actual version, 10.16.0.80. And we'll talk about the version in just a second here. So um, once you launch that, it will start up our installer wizard. And uh, it mentioned that since I had done an uninstall, I might want to do a system restart, but generally speaking, um, that's not necessary. Um, usually it is a good idea to do a good cleanup before you do start the installation. So I selected the next button, the continue button. On this particular page, you'll notice there are several options available to you. First of all, you'll see that across the top, it tells you what version and which update it is. And then there's a configure button here. Now, this is actually something that's probably more useful for advanced users, but let's take a quick peek and see what's behind it. The configure button allows us to configure the location of the application when it's installed. By default, the application itself is installed to see program files and then Bentley MicroStation. You can change that if you like, but most of us keep it on the C drive. Next, you'll notice that <clears throat> you have companion features and companion applications that go along with MicroStation. Continuing on with our installation, you'll notice that uh, we can go to the next page in the wizard of the installation. And here you'll see it says the type of configuration. Now, there is help here. Um, it's, it's kind of hidden here with a little gray question mark, but if you do click on that, that, so once you clicked on that, you'll notice that it does open up a browser and starts you into this configuration. It talks about delivered configuration, custom configuration, it talks a little bit about all of these different aspects of configuration, uh, that occur here. Now, what is the delivered configuration? Well, as the name implies, that is just simply what we at Bentley Systems provide you, the user, as an example set. Most users will go to a custom configuration. Um, again, this is more of a CAD manager thing, so if you're not comfortable about this, leave it set to delivered configuration. So leave, if you leave it set to delivered configuration, you just click on next. However, if you are confident that you know what you're doing, then you can go to custom configuration. And once you select custom configuration, you'll notice that it also includes a delivered configuration. So we'll install and see, so there's a delivered configuration location. And then here's the custom configuration location. What you want to do is browse to the location of your custom, usually a shared network configuration. And so, so I happen to know that it's already set up for me. That's my custom configuration location. Um, but most of us will just stick to delivered, so I'll just leave it set to delivered. Following through here, you'll notice that you can also choose which options you want to install. Once you're done uh, with that, you can simply uh, proceed to the next step, which is to review things and accept the license agreement. And upon accepting the license agreement, the install button highlights and you can begin your install. At this point, it'll walk through the entire installation process and we'll take a look at the various things that happen after the install. So let's watch it go through the install. And through the magic of video editing, we're done. You'll notice that you have the ability to launch MicroStation at this stage. And really just to get started at this point, you simply click on Finish. And that will go ahead and launch MicroStation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.